Sorry I haven't done one of these vlogs in a while. In the past couple weeks I've either been very busy or I've been very tired or it, admittedly I've been playing the hell out of Mass Effect Andromeda so my bad. I'm gonna do my best to get back on schedule with doing these vlogs on Tuesdays just to kind of update what's going on with me, the things I'm thinking about, and to you know reach out to you, talk to you. As I remember in one of my last vlogs I mentioned that I was trying to sign up to drive for Uber. Well that went through and for the past what this is my third week okay so the past two weeks that's what I've been doing I've been driving for uber around New Orleans and one of the most common questions I get from both riders and people that I know who find out that I'm driving for uber is how I like it and to answer that question is I like it a lot I'm not getting rich off it but I am starting to make a sustainable income so I can start actually moving my life forward from graduating from college, which that in itself is kind of frustrating because I spent all of this time and money getting my English degree and now apparently the only job I can get is driving for Uber, which I'm not saying, which I'm, I'm not trying to say that driver Uber is just for losers. That's not at all what I'm saying. I think driving for Uber is a great, is it's a great thing, but at the same time, I, I got my degree. I, I was hoping for something a little more than this, but I guess I have to work my way up to that. I don't know also mentioned in a past video that I was thinking of moving to LA that I'm still brainstorming about kind of how I want to deal with that moving forward in my life now that I actually have a means of some kind of income to where I can move forward but overall but overall I like driving for Uber it's it's not a bad experience it's actually kind of fun I get to drive around which I enjoy doing you know when you know when I can I just need to like you know, relax and just kind of get out of my head. I'll just, you know, drive around, listen to music. And that's what I get to do with Uber. I drive around, listen to music. I'll meet people. Some of them are really cool and interesting. Some of them are completely silent and, you know, that's fine by me. That means I just get to drive around and listen to music. But it's a, it's a pretty, so far it's been a pretty positive experience. I haven't had any really bad riders. Uh, I haven't had any really bad experiences with it yet. But something else I really like about it, and this, and this just goes for a lot of things in my life that I like, is I like the... I guess the modernization of it. I like that, you know, it's, you know, it is, it's a, it's a phone app. It's, it's very modern. It's kind of like, it's kind of still like the new thing. It's very current. It's very modern. I, I, I don't know how else, how else to say that. It's very current. It's very modern. It's very 2017. And I like that, you know, I, you know, I've actually had some writers talk to me like, how do I feel about, you know, Uber putting cab companies out of business? And I don't, and I don't want cab companies to go out of business. But comparing experiences of, you know, getting a ride with Uber and getting a ride with a cab company, Uber is a lot more convenient, it's a lot more streamlined, it's a lot, it's a lot easier. Whereas cab companies still operate the same that they've been operating for years. And, you know, you've heard cab companies and cab drivers are very angry at Uber. I was like, well, don't be angry at Uber because they've come out with a better product. You know, their competition, don't get mad at the competition, step up. So if, if Uber is now better than cab companies, well, cab companies figure out how to be better than Uber, provide a better service and a better experience than Uber does. You know, it's called evolving, it's called adapting, it's called moving on, it's called staying with current time, with, with current trends. And that's something that I just really like a lot in my life, like even with like restaurants. If there's a restaurant I want to go to and I want to see what the prices are and what they have on their menu, I'm going to look it up on my I'm going to look it up on my phone or on my computer and you know try to see and if they don't have, you know, an online menu or a website then it it tells me a few things. It tells me one, either they don't know how to make a website for their restaurant or that they haven't asked someone who knows how to make a website for their restaurant or they're too stubborn to understand that the internet is not going away, that the internet is a thing, it's not just a fad, that it's part of life, and it's how you function in this world now. They're too stubborn to understand that, and therefore are staying behind, staying behind in the time that they started, and not moving forward and not adapting. And this restaurant, and I'm not saying this is what's going to put a restaurant out of business, I'm saying that this is what, for me, kind of makes me decide if I want to go to this restaurant or not. The restaurant could be amazing, could have amazing food, could have amazing service, but on the surface, that's all, but on the surface already kind of having that idea of them, you're just too, either you're too stubborn to make or to figure out or ask someone to make you a website with your menu, with your, with your prices, or you feel that you're too exclusive to show your, show your menu items to the, 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 
peasants who are on the internet, those fad kids who are just on the internet all of the time. And it's the same thing with, you know, talking about, you know, oh, you know, kids nowadays, they're just always looking at their phones. It's like, well, yeah, they're looking at their phones. There's a lot of information to look at on your phones. Just like when newspapers were a thing, a lot of people were looking at newspapers because there was a lot of information to digest in newspapers when they were first a thing, or books, or, t or stone frickin' tablets. Bringing it back on the topic, that's something I really like about Uber and driving for Uber is that it is... It is the, the new thing. It is technology. It is, it's an app. It's a phone app. There's always updates making it better, making it easier. And I really like that about Uber. I haven't had any real bad rider experiences because most of the people that are using Uber know how to use Uber. They know how to use their phone. They know how to get, download the app. They know how to use the app. And I don't want to, I don't want to... I don't want to assume that these people are, well, they're more intelligent than other people or anything like that, but it, it does say something about someone either if, you know, they're my age and they've grown up using technology or if they're a little older and they've taken the time to figure out how to use their phone and how to use their app. That says a lot about a person, in my opinion. I think I'm starting to get a little pretentious about this. That's not my purpose. I don't mean to do that. I just, I feel like there are so many... There, there's so much technology and so many technological advances just in little things like a, like a phone, like a cell phone, which is a now basically just a small computer that you can carry around in your pocket. And if you need the answer to something, you can look it up and you can get more information. And yes, you can use it to look at fucking cat videos too. That's not the point. There's just, there's just so much technology that benefits life now, that makes life convenient, that makes life easy to live, that makes life better to live. I mean... Look at me. I, you know, I got my, yeah, I got my college degree after thousands of dollars and years working on my college degree, and I've not been able to get hired anywhere. I've put out applications. I've, you know, I've, I've put in the work. I've tried to, you know, get jobs in other places, and Uber is really the, Uber is where I've been able to get work. So I'm, you know, I'm really thankful for that, but it's, you know, it's a, gr it's a great app. It's a great thing, and there's just so much there's so much modernization in it and the things that I like in my life, you know, I mean, look at me, hell, you know, I'm, you know, I'm trying to, you know, create a YouTube channel. These are all things that would not be a thing five, ten years ago. And that's just, it's, it's a, that's something I think about whenever I'm driving, whenever I'm using, whenever I'm driving Uber. And that's something I like about it. And that's just something I like in, just in my general life, in the, ge in the way I generally do things. I, you know, I like to... You know, I, I, I talk the talk, I also want to walk the walk. You know, I want to talk about all these advances and modernizations and, you know, using technology to its fullest. But I also want to actually do that, not just talk about it. And yeah, I'm not saying that, you know, and I'm not saying that, oh, old things are terrible. I still get, uh, get like, I still get Game Informer, the actual magazine, just because I like getting it once a month and I get the magazine and then I get to look through it. You know, I'm not, you know, it's, it's not, uh, you know, technology or nothing. But I still, you know, I'm on the newsletter for Game Informer. I'll still, you know, look at the emails, look at the digital articles on the thing. But, you know, it's nice getting the, the magazine once a month and checking it out. I like to, I'd like to think of myself as, you know, the modern man, the 2017 modern man living in his mother's house and, you know, trying to, trying to make a career out of his art on YouTube and driving Uber. I don't, I don't know if that says good things about me or I, I don't really know what that says about me. That's kind of funny. But it's just, it's just what I've been thinking about, and this is kind of an update on what I've been up to, why I haven't done a vlog in a couple weeks, like I said, either busy working or just tired or playing the hell out of Mass Effect Andromeda. But I'm going to get back to doing these once a week, uh, giving you an update on stuff that's going on with me. Let me know what's going on with you. If, you know, anything you want to talk about, any new life experiences you want to share, uh, leave them in the comments or on any of my social media, and uh, I'll talk to you later. Have fun.